Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCadWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video is subject, why do cats wipe their bum on the floor? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats drag their bum on the floor due to diarrhea, constipation, allergies, anal gland irritation, and worms. If the cat has diarrhea, it'll scoot to clean its butt. Poor nutrition can lead to constipation, so it'll scoot because it wants to waste. If it's experiencing allergies, worms, or anal gland problems, it'll scoot to ease itchiness or pain. So, what is all this scooting really about? What does it all really mean? Well, it's pretty much what you think it is. Scooting is a physical action where a cat drags its bottom across the surface. The carpet, for example, as a means to scratch and or scrape its hind end. While scooting is rarely an urgent health issue, it's also not normal or common. Scooting is often a sign of some level of discomfort, and the cat is attempting to use the floor or the ground as a remedy. In some instances, scooting can leave behind a rather foul smell. Felines that have diarrhea or some level of painful defecation often resort to scooting as a means to self-soothe. As for the core reasons as to why cats scoot, let's explore the most notable causes. The first cause that we'll discuss today is diarrhea. The nature of this issue can cause waste to become stuck or lodged under your cat's tail and within the fur. Unable to clean in the natural way, some cats will resort to scooting as a means to remedy the problem. To prevent this from occurring, always check for any loose or watery stool in your cat's litter box especially if you know that your cat is suffering from diarrhea. If you notice any waste within the fur itself, gently clean the area with a warm, wet cloth. In most cases, digestive issues that cause diarrhea will clear up naturally and within a rather short period of time. However, please take your cat to the vet if the issue lasts more than 48 hours. Medication could be required to ease your pet and harden the stool. The next reason for scooting involves constipation. Foods that are not healthy for cats or specifically designed for feline consumption can cause constipation. When your cat is in this state, your pet could get the urge to scoot as a means to find relief or potentially trigger a bowel movement. To remedy the situation, always ensure that your cat's food is high in protein, moderate fats, with just a marginal amount of carbohydrates. Another potential reason for scooting involves food or environmental allergies. Certain ingredients in both wet and dry food, in addition to cat litter, cleaning products and various fragrances, and even houseplants can cause allergies. It's not uncommon for owners to have a difficult time finding the proper laundry detergent for their cat's bedding due to this very specific issue. With respect to scooting, allergy-prone felines will often engage in this action as a means to scratch an itch caused by an allergic episode. In addition to scooting, be on the lookout for these notable allergy-related symptoms. Leaking or chewing of the paws, swollen paws, throat inflammation, snoring, sneezing, watery eyes, eye scratching, coughing, diarrhea, inflamed skin, vomiting, ear infections, and scratching of the ears. Another issue of concern as it relates to scooting and the final one that we'll cover here today within this listing involves anal gland irritation. Often hallmarked by swelling around the anal region, gland irritation and infection can lead to a clog. While more common in dogs compared to cats, the extraction of fluid from the gland itself, a process conducted by a professional, is often the remedy in many cases. In addition to the concerns we've already noted here today, scooting can also be a sign of parasites. Pay very close attention to the following symptoms in addition to frequent scooting. Excessive coughing, a dull coat, 
diarrhea, mucus in the stool, and a swollen belly. We always stress those all-important routine vet checkups in our material, our video material. Here again, this is just another reminder as to why. Like so many issues and concerns, many things, so many things, can be revealed and remedied simply due to those regular vet visits. Without getting overly graphic in this section, after all, this is a family show. But yes, felines can scoot as a means to mark territory. And if you'd like to know exactly how it's done, be sure to head on over to SeniorCatWellness.com after all is said and done here today. The link, as always, will be in the description box below. While scooting to mark territory is certainly an option, if you will, it's not a go-to. It's not common. This is why if the family cat is scooting across your living room floor, there is usually an underlying health issue of some variety. And this action is not being done for territory reasons. And before we close things out here today, let's briefly talk about how to stop scooting from taking place. Well, as we've mentioned here today and discussed, it's all about discovering the core reason involved. It's rather hard to stop something when you're not really sure exactly what's going on. And until the issue itself is addressed and resolved, the scooting will likely, unfortunately, continue. Especially if the act itself is providing your pet with some form of momentary relief. Unless you're able to see waste on your cat's backside, especially if it's trapped within the fur. So many of the root causes will remain a mystery without a proper diagnosis. If your cat's scooting has gone on for more than 48 to 72 hours, please contact your vet. While scooting is typically not a sign of a major issue, it's also, as we've mentioned, not normal. And, if allowed to continue, it can do far more harm than good. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at the aforementioned SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video, and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.